This local sports report is presented by the Guelph Minor Football Association, proudly developing players in Guelph for community high school and youth sports football for over 25 years. Learn more about their tackle and flag programs by visiting guelphminorfootball.net. A terrific matchup in week four of District 10 football. The Bishop McDonnell Celtics and the Centennial Spartans battling at Alumni Stadium. The Spartans coming in with a perfect record this season. Opening quarter, the Spartans with possession. Miller Wedding is looking long. He fires downfield. Aiden Van Esch with the reception. That's a first down. Centennial, though, would come away with no points on the possession. Later in the first, watch number five for BMAC. That's Ryan Wolfe. He breaks through and brings down the run. Running back. Nice play there from the future, Guelph Griffin. Second quarter now, another huge play from the Celtics defense. They have pressure on Miller Wedding. His pass is picked off by Marco Pacioni. And how about this? Pacioni is a clear lane to the end zone. It's a pick six for the first touchdown of the game. Bishop McDonnell jumping out to a 10 0 lead. Later in the quarter, Pacioni now in it running back, and he rips off a big run on this play. MP40 with a first down and more. The Celtics looking to extend the lead. Out comes Dimitri Grieb, the Celtics kicker, celebrating his 15th birthday, and he splits the uprights. The kick is good from 22 yards out. Grieb makes it 13-0 Celtics. Back come the Spartans before the quarter is over. This is Miller wedding to Matthew Stam. He's got it for a touchdown. Beauty catch from Stam. CCBI is on the board. They now trail 13-7. Then we've got another interception from Marco Pacioni. He's over the middle and he picks it off. Pacioni having himself a day. That led to another field goal. Bishop Mack is up 16-7 at the break. Back to the highlights in a minute. First, a reminder, this video is presented by the Guelph Junior Griffins, a proud supporter of District 10 football. Join the Junior Griffins. Learn more at guelphminorfootball.net. Third quarter now, it's a big hit from the Spartans. Nathan Laskowski comes over and he levels the receiver. And that play providing a spark for the Spartans offense. Here's a solid run from Lucas Medulin. He takes the ball inside the five yard line. CCVI is on the doorstep and they cap off the drive with this short run from Jackson Lewis shook. He scores on a QB keeper. The Spartans are right back in it. They now trail 19-14. Still in the second. It's a deep ball. There is Muhammad Idris for the Spartans and he picks it off. CCVI with tons of momentum. They are down by five as we head to the fourth. And here comes the Celtics defense. It's a huge tackle from Ethan Malone. He brings down the speedy Matthew Stam a little later. Jackson Lashuk is looking for room to run. Marco Pacioni charging over and he takes down the Spartans QB. The Celtics defense standing tall in the fourth, and they celebrate as time expires. Bishop Mack wins it 19-14 over the Spartans. We spoke to Marco Pacioni and Dimitri Grieb after the game. All right, we're here at Alumni Stadium after a big win for the Bishop McDonnell Celtics. This is Marco Pacioni, who had a pick six great game, and this young man beside me turning 15 years old today. Happy birthday, Dimitri Grieb. Four field goals and a huge win, and you're holding the sword. Tell me about it, man. How are you feeling? It's got to be the greatest birthday gift I've ever received. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't express my emotions. Like that was so, that was just grateful, man. I can't, never been in a sport that hyped before. It's, it's incredible. What can you say about Dimitri's contribution here, Marco? Four field goals. Obviously, he was clutch, and from 20 and 30 yards out, um, like you said, quite a birthday present for him. Oh yeah, we put a lot of trust in him as a rookie, and he really showed uh, why we put that trust in him. Banging field goals at practice from like 50. And we found we found him. He's like he's just a soccer player from last year. And now he's a football player. Like he came to the right sport. And uh, happy birthday to Dimitri, of course. That's a great game. How much does the soccer thing help you when you're out here trying to kick field goals? It definitely helps for sure. Like, <laughs> I mean, I got a big leg from soccer, just training. I mean, yeah. Uh, Marco Piccioni pick six, a huge play in this game. The only touchdown uh, for the Celtics. You know, what did you see on that play? And that sideline was hype when he was yeah, running down was. the sidelines. It was amazing. The moment, just the pick, and he was gone. We were all we were all pumped up. It was amazing. He was going. You were going, my man. You should have seen the bench. It was an awesome play. You had pressure on the quarterback. Um, in that moment, what did you see on it? You know, he was under pressure. Um, he flips it up, and the next thing I know, you're in the end zone, and you're high-stepping into the end zone, Marco Pacioni. 
Well, I knew they had a main target who they are going to try to hit all game. We did watch a lot of film this week. And, uh, of course, my DBs around me, great coverage and uh, great pressure from the D-line, of course, kind of forced the throw onto him. I just happened to be in the right spot, and I, and I, and I took it up the sideline. I didn't know I was going for six, but high step had to come out when I, was, when I knew I was going. 